It is another eventful day for Sub-Sahara's leading boards, the Nigeria Stock Exchange, as it launched its premium board. The premium board is for large corporates that have the capacity to perform and outperform the market index. And here at the floor of the Stock Exchange, the CEO, Mr. Oscar Oyema, brought the three corporates that scale to the criteria for being listed in this premium board. And we have the three firms that have qualified to be on the premium board that are here with us today. The first one is Dangote Cement, the second one is Zenith International, and the third one is FBN Holdings. Their chief executive officers are here. Please let us give them a warm energy welcome. As you know, the premium board is a board for the large corporates that put themselves out as having the highest standards of corporate governance. Uh, they will get the highest global visibility and they will have the additional responsibility of being the ambassador, ambassadors uh, of the stock exchange. They've gone through a very rigorous process to get here uh, and you're all very familiar with the rules around the premium board. For the three corporates, the various stockbrokers made formal presentations for their listing, which was granted. I so we love very valuable. Uh, on behalf of the CEO of Betiwa Securities Limited, stock workers to Damote Cement PLC, hereby pray for the fully paid up shares of the company amounting to 17 billion, 40 million, 507,405 units of ordinary shares of 50 cover each power value. We are rooted to the premium board of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. I, Senator Pesky, Aki Oshi, on behalf of the MD CEO of FBN Securities Limited and stockbrokers to FBN Only PLC, hereby pray that the fully paid shares of FBN Only PLC amounting to 35 billion, 895 million. 292,792 ordinary shares of 50 dollars each be admitted to the premium board of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. On behalf of the Chief Executive Officer of Zenith Security Limited and broker to Zenith Bank PLC, hereby pray for the fully paid up shares of Zenith Bank PLC amounting to 31 billion 396 million. 493,786 units of ordinary shares of 50 cobo per value each be admitted to the premium board of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. The CEOs of these three corporates had opportunity to speak on the significance of being part of this new stage in the capital market. We were also very excited by the statement uh, where you said that um, companies listed on the premium board anywhere else in the world and that's my personal experience as well, do better than how to form the market uh, wherever they are listed. So clearly that our determination is both to performance and how to form the market. We've gone through quite a lot to qualify to be listed on the premium board, and I'm sure we all know what I'm talking about. We will continue to strive the Zenith as we've always done to ensure that we not only meet but we surpass all the post-listing requirements. We do acknowledge the painstaking efforts that have been undertaken jointly between the Nigerian Stock Exchange and the Convention for Business Integrity in getting us to this point whereby quite a number of criteria were utilized to evaluate companies that were qualified uh, to be on this board. We are happy that we are one of those uh, companies that have met this stringent criteria of business integrity, corporate governance, uh, disclosure, in addition to other factors. The CEO of the Nigerian Stock Exchange took a little moment to explain the modalities that was involved in the migration to this level. And then the one that probably is the most exciting one for the gentleman standing here is the uh, exam, the entire board of each company sat for the exam to understand that they actually 
uh, have to meet standards with regards to fiduciary awareness. Um, and so for them to stand here means that their board of directors have actually passed the, um, the financial uh, awareness uh, exams, including yourselves, yes, you are members of your board. <laughs> The CEOs of Evian Holdings and Zenit Bank speak further on the significance of being migrated to the Premium Board. We are witnessing a very historic event, which is the listing of FBN Holdings on the Premium Board uh, of the Exchange. What this means to us is that we are being moved up from the General Trading Board to what I will call a premium class of elite group of industry leaders. So for us, the first point is that it's an acknowledgement that we are a major uh, establishment in this environment. But the more fundamental issue is the fact that it is an attestation that we have been able to meet the high standards of corporate governance that is required for you to be on the premium board. The third is that it's also a recognition that we have maintained our reputation as an institution that thrives on a high business integrity, which is one of the requirements for being listed on the premium board. We see that it will enhance the visibility of our organization, FBN Holdings, uh, PLC, and with enhanced visibility, especially uh, on the international side, we expect uh, more inflow of investments uh, into FBN Holdings. With that, we expect that the overall valuation and the stock price of our company will become positively impacted. So for our shareholders, and indeed for all of our stakeholders, uh, what we have witnessed today at the Stock Exchange, that is the listing of FBN Holdings uh, on the premium board of the exchange, is a thing of tremendous value for our shareholders. To us uh, in Zenith Bank is uh, history being made, and we are very happy and pleased to be part of uh, history. It takes a lot for any organization at all to qualify to be listed on the premium board. In terms of uh, disclosure, in terms of corporate governance, and even the fiduciary tests, which is a written test that has to be taken by all directors of the organization, you have to go through all this. So you find out that it's a very, very rigorous um, uh, test. It's a very, very rigorous process for any organization to be listed on the premium board. For Mr. Oscar Yama, the CEO of Nigerian Stock Exchange, it's a new commitment to improving the capital market index. As you know, we did a pilot program for a corporate governance rating system uh, uh, last, last year. And that uh, pilot program, we had uh, a little over 10 companies in the, in the uh, program. And uh, we publicly announced that eight of them passed uh, the corporate governance rating system. As we designed the premium board, uh, we wanted it to be a marketplace because we did uh, uh, poll our issuer community and the investor community and it was very clear to us that they wanted us to segment the market and provide services that are geared to different aspects of the market. So we've decided to have a premium board, the main board and the growth board. We're launching the premium board today and it is designed for large corporates that hold themselves out as having excellent corporate governance and that meet our stringent listing standards. Um, now, those standards include passing the corporate governance rating system, which most of you are familiar with. That system has three stages. Uh, the first one is your self-evaluation. Um, the second one then looks at your stakeholders and does surveys of your stakeholders to collaborate your self-evaluation. And then we have a expert multi-stakeholder group that tries to take the input from those surveys to make sense of them. And then the last portion of it is the um, fiduciary awareness uh, test, which each member of the board of directors of these companies uh, is required to take. So when you then put it all together with appropriate weightings, you get uh, the output. Now you must score 70 or above in order for you to have passed your corporate governance rating system. So you must pass that. You must have 200 billion Naira in market capitalization. Uh, that is uh, the market cap test. And you must have a liquidity test, which is 40 billion Naira or more, or 20% of your, uh, of your market cap. So very stringent standards. Um, the exchange does, uh, has a policy of not announcing 
uh, people that apply to it for listing. We only announce people that have made it through and are listed. So right now, these three are the pioneers starting the uh, premium board. As time goes on, um, you will see that a lot more companies, especially their competitors, once they begin to see the positive effect it has on, on these companies, will also aspire to be on the premium board. With the migration of these three corporates to the Nigerian Stock Exchange Premium Board, it is expected that the capital market will begin to operate with that capacity from this level where we can expect institutional investors across the globe and other vital investors to begin to engage and deepen activities in the Nigerian capital market. That is a question that every analyst will be watching out for.